Hey everyone, welcome back. We're diving into something pretty important today, especially if you're down here in South Florida with me. Yeah, we're talking all about air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Always a hot topic, right? Yeah. But specifically, there's a big change happening with refrigerants, the stuff that actually makes those AC units cool. Right. We're moving to something called R454B, and we're going to break down what that means for your home. Absolutely. From staying cool and complying with all the new regulations. Oh, yeah. I got to stay legal. To the environmental impacts and what it'll mean for your wallet. It's a big shift. It really is. And we want to make sure you're in the loop. So first things first, what is R454B? Why is everyone making such a big deal about it? Well, it's not just swapping out like one chemical for another. Okay. It's part of this global effort to try to, you know, lessen our impact on the climate. Gotcha. So it's a bigger picture thing. Exactly. So R454B, it's this new type of refrigerant. It's actually in a class called hydrofluorofins or HFOs. HFOs. Yeah. But the big thing is older refrigerants, like the R410A that's in most AC units right now, they have what's called a high global warming potential. Okay, so that's not good. Not good. It means when it leaks out into the atmosphere, it really contributes to the greenhouse effect. Oh. But R454B, way lower GWP, like a reduction of over 97%. Whoa, 97%. That's huge. So in simple terms, for all of us non-scientists out there, Switching to r 454 b it's going to mean our AC units are way easier on the planet. Exactly. And you know what else? This ties into the EPA regulations that have been coming out. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. The EPA. Always got to keep them happy. Well, they're phasing out those high GWT refrigerants to meet climate goals. Makes sense. So using r 454 b helps homeowners actually comply with those regulations and, you know, avoid any potential fines down the road. That's good. Don't want any of those. So it's good for the environment, keeps us on the right side of the law. But let's be real. What does it mean for someone like me living down here in South Florida where it's like a sauna outside most of the year? Well, and that's the exciting part. Our 4534, it's not just good for the planet, but it actually performs better in these really tough climates like South Florida. Oh, really? Yeah. So even better cooling. Yes, because it has what are called superior thermodynamic properties. Okay, break that down for me. Basically, it's much better at absorbing and releasing heat. Interesting. So... Could that potentially mean lower energy bills? Potentially, yeah. Because it can handle that heat more efficiently, your AC unit won't have to work as hard, right? So that could lead to some energy savings and you're reducing your carbon footprint even more. That's fantastic. And I mean, faster cooling times, right? Get that house nice and chilled out quickly. Exactly, yeah. Especially important when you're dealing with that South Florida heat. No kidding. So when can people actually get their hands on these systems? I'm sure everyone's wondering. Well, Ream, one of the biggest AC manufacturers. Oh, yeah, I've heard of them. They're rolling out R454B units across their entire residential line starting in 2025. So it's coming up soon. Okay, what about the practical stuff? I mean, this is new technology. So what should homeowners be thinking about if they're considering making this switch? Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing is to find HVAC technicians who are actually certified to work with R454B. Okay, yeah, specialized stuff. Right. It requires specialized handling, so you want to make sure your system is installed correctly and maintained properly, you know, for optimal performance and safety, of course. That makes perfect sense. It's not something you want to just DIY, I'm guessing. Yeah. Are there any other, like, potential challenges people should be aware of? Well, one thing is the upfront costs for these systems. Okay. Yeah. Cost is always a factor. They might be a little bit higher than for older models, but you've got to weigh that against those long-term savings on energy bills. Right. The bigger picture. Exactly. And think about it. Potential future regulations that could make those older systems obsolete. So it really is an investment. Yeah. An investment in your home and the planet too. All right. So we're wrapping up here. What are the key takeaways our listeners should keep in mind as they're thinking about their next AC system? Well, I'd say do your research, you know, look into R454B, all its benefits, really think about the long-term costs and the environmental impact. And when you're ready to make the switch, make sure you're finding those qualified, certified technicians. That is excellent advice. So as we all try to move towards a greener future, it sounds like R454B is something worth checking out. Thanks for diving deep with us. My pleasure. And for all of you listening, keep those ACs running cool, and we'll catch you on our next deep dive.